disappointment when you miss out on something. Um, probably um, for me, because I started in 2006, it was a whole quadrennial, but I'd had uh, the other girls who were in the program, so there was Michelle, there was Emma Lincoln-Smith and Melissa Hall, you know, that had just those extra couple of years of experience, um, which means that you're going to probably be a better slider. So it's always a disappointment, but, um, you know, that was where I was as a slider. Um, they were better than me, and, and I really just focused on trying to get these ones and work on the things that I could work on and, and get there and be a better slider so I could make these games. It's not the fastest in the world compared to Vancouver. Um, Vancouver was around 145 k's. This will be around 125, but we may not have seen the top speeds on this track yet from what we've trained on. Uh, the ice could be harder and faster for these races, so we'll find that out this week in the training days. Golden Black of Jamaica. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but <laughs> is that an omen? Are you our cool runner? No, nah, no, nah, it's definitely just green and gold. So I'm, uh, yeah, just excited for it and getting in the spirit of things. And, you know, it's good to have Jamaica back, but uh, I'm not uh, <laughs> supporting them. I'm going for Australia. <laughs> Can you do a Jamaican accent? No, I can't. <laughs> Uh, you know what, I was uh, really shocked, really surprised, and actually by the time I got to the village I was really tired. Uh, the last three weeks we've been in Europe racing in Austria and Germany, and the preparation has been intense. Um, and the last week coming in we actually spent a week in Oberhof, Germany, which is right in the east of, eastern part of Germany. So to get to the village is finally able to relax, see the track for the first time again since last year, yesterday. Um, put all the excitement and everything beside, now we're uh, here for business. In 2010 it was uh, very tough for us, I had a crash in training and uh, with Chris Spring and uh, the other team piloted by Jeremy Rolson crashed in the race as everyone knows. I think what inspired me to keep going was, uh, for me it's never been about just making the Olympic Games but competing at, you know, up in that higher echelon and, and getting what you want out of it and I hadn't achieved that. So yeah, it made me want to keep going. And this time around has been, uh, already been a very different experience. We've got a high, higher quality team, we're performing better. The competition is harder than four years ago, but um, you know we're doing down times a second faster per run than we were four years ago. So basically I just want to get out of it what I think we can achieve, and we didn't do that in Vancouver. You know what, I keep looking at my watch. Um, we've got, <laughs> I've got the other three guys meeting a bus in about 20 minutes over at the village, and they're going to head down to the to the track and meet the sleds. The sleds have been on a journey from uh, Oberhof, Germany, through Lithuania and Latvia and down through Russia over the last four days with uh, Kaspers, who's been driving them for us. And um, after I leave here, I'll be going to check them out and make sure they're all here in one piece and safe and all of our runners and equipment and everything arrive through the customs and border checks. And um, we'll set them up for tomorrow for, for the first day of training on the ice. Does, does the sled have a cool name, like Grease Lightning or something? <laughs> You know what, our, our two-man sled actually has a name, and um, its name's Dorothy. Dorothy, Dorothy the sled, right, Dor why? Dorothy the sled has a pair of red shoes, and those red shoes go on Dorothy when it travels. <laughs> <laughs>